Hi, Anna here to show you guys how to use the preset in the new Photo Candy app. So this feature is great because you have the ability to select an already pre-made design. So there's no hassle in trying to create a new one, especially if you're in a hurry. So we've already provided for you quite a few designs for you to choose from. But what's even better about this feature is that you have the ability to create your own. So let's just say you spent the time to create a great design. You just save it as a preset and now you can apply it to any other photo you bring into Photo Candy. So let me show you how this works. Open Photo Candy. Select a photo. Crop it. Once on the main screen, you'll see the five icons on the bottom. For presets, just select the bottom left icon. Okay, once in the presets workspace, go through them to see which one you like the most. But let's say the design doesn't quite fit your photo correctly. You now have the ability to select the pattern or shape by just tapping on the image. The shape or pattern you selected will flash and now you can make the adjustments you want by pinching, rotating, and just moving it around. So I'll leave it like this. Let's adjust the pattern in the background as well. Just tap to select, you will see it flash and adjust. Once you're happy with the design, tap the check mark to confirm. Back at the main workspace is where you can further customize your design by replacing the pattern, shape, and even the background color. So let's say you want to change this shape from a diamond to something else. Let's just go into the shapes by tapping the icon here. And now that you're in the shapes workspace, you can tap any other shape you want to replace it with. Let me choose this square. The square has made the stripes pretty much act like a border around the photo. That looks good. So I'll tap the check mark to confirm. And now I can do the same with the pattern and or change the background. But I like the design, so I'll just go to the top right button to save. This prompt comes up, so you can select to save it in a lower resolution or a higher resolution. The default is on, as you can see, the higher resolution. And what's next is the fun part. This is the save to presets. This is where you can select yes to save the design you've made as a new preset. So I'll move it to yes. And now this text box come up so you can give your preset a name. I'll go ahead and name it Stripe Border. Tap done. And then you can tap next, which will bring you to the screen where you can save it and share it but I won't be going into that so I can show you another great feature for presets. Let's just say you've made plenty of presets and now you have way too many to go through or ones that you no longer like anymore. So let me exit this prompt here and go back to the presets. So now you're here again with all the presets and let's say you no longer like this preset here and you would like to delete it. All you have to do is tap and hold the preset and you'll notice the pink minus icon show up on the top left corner similar to how you closed apps in iOS 6. So just tap it and it'll be removed. There you go, that's it. That's how you use the presets workspace. And if you guys make cool photos and post them on Instagram, make sure to hashtag photo candy so we can check out what you've done. And if you haven't downloaded photo candy yet, make sure to go to the app store and download it for free.